What is up YouTube? Welcome to this Superman number 14 and also Justice League versus Suicide Squad number 3 review. Now, things are going on in the DC universe that are insane. We seem to be getting more and more hints of what is going on with DC Rebirth slash Watchmen inside the DC Rebirth. So, last issue with the Titans, the word Manhattan was mentioned. We've had changes to Batman's backstory. So, there's all kinds of madness actually going on. So, someone is stealing Superman or Supermen. So the multiverse here is back. We've got the Justice League Incarnate, which is super, super cool. And I'm glad we're getting more multiverse stuff here. I didn't think I'd say I, I grew tired of all these different things going on. But, well, when you're telling a story as to the Watchmen incursion into the DC Universe, whatever's happened... Well, this is going to get very interesting. So, we know that Ozymandias is stealing people. Well, I say Oz. It's obviously Ozymandias. We know that he is stealing people. He has a Robin. He has all kinds of other people. He's got Doomsday, for God's sake. So, why is he stealing all these different versions of Superman? Well, Dr. Manhattan is kind of the Watchman version of Superman. Is he seeing Superman as a threat to him? And is he trying to possibly combine them all, make a, make a Superman? No, I kind of doubt that, to be honest. But we see some black gloves, so it's, it's interesting to see who is stealing these Supermen. But the issue I found was a lot of fun, to be honest. It just seemed like a lot of fun. We've seen all these different versions of Superman. And of course, Red Sun Superman there as well. So I did really like seeing that in this issue. And the issue was pretty interesting. It's the start of Multiplicity. So I have a brand new storyline. We've got the Chinese Superman linking in. I, I did wonder when they were going to try and merge these or introduce them. But that's kind of cool, isn't it? Seeing those and what is actually going on. Who's stealing Superman's power? Because Superman is, you know, he's Superman. He is like what? I'd say the standard bearer for DC and power in that universe because, well, he is one of the most powerful people in the DC universe. So it's not good if someone is actually stealing them. And I'm excited to see these lots of different Supermen coming in and how they're dealing with them. Is Superman going to have to go across or our pre-New 52 Superman have to go through different universes? and save them so with these kind of different things happening it makes you wonder just what is happening who is trying to steal all these people now we have heard from the creators that well justice league versus suicide squad the i am suicide arc will all hint towards what is actually going on in the dc rebirth universe so the issue was a lot of fun. All the artwork was just superb. And I love seeing the different versions of the multiverse characters in the artwork. So it's going to be very cool to see what is actually happening and what will go on moving forward in this story. And it did grip me when I heard about this story was being brought in. So it's going to be neat to see. But hopefully we don't get a kind of spin out of all these different multiverse hopefully keep the multiverse in check here so it doesn't spin out of control and we get all kinds of stupid stories people having superman change and all that just keep it as it is introduce it have kind of like i'd say one-offs where people come to this universe etc so keep it in check and i think that this will be a very good issue now Justice League versus Suicide Squad is proving to be incredibly interesting. So it was fun seeing the Justice League in the Bell Reeve prison. And we learn more about exactly what is going on here. And why does Maxwell Lord want to kill Amanda Waller? We know that he has something 
or Bell Rave Prison has something that, well, he wants. I thought we'd, they would reveal exactly what he wanted, but they didn't. So maybe next issue. I wasn't aware that this would be a weekly thing, but it's looking to be a more recurring thing than I actually expected. It was fun seeing the Suicide Squad walk in and think that, hey, we won, we beat, we beat you. And it was nice seeing more of Killer Frost's backstory and see that she is remembering her life pre-Killer Frost and actually kind of empathising and explain why she actually tried to... She exercised restraint against Superman. But... I feel this issue is going to, or this story is going to get a bit too busy. Now we have the Maxwell Lord squad joining, and they are the original Suicide Squad. Not sure, really sure what she meant by that, but this is going to be lit. I think if they keep it in check and we see a huge fight happen, which is going to happen easily, and... I'm wondering if this is something to do with Watchmen. What is, what is does he want that will actually really change the course of reality? But it was a neat addition, again, of this squad being explained as just going through and killing everyone mercilessly. So Suicide Squad, these are villains who aren't really evil. They just do evil things and these new squad are people who just want to absolutely kill everything and everyone in the room because they find it fun so we've got the almighty good of the justice league got the suicide squad and then we've got just all the way on the other end of the spectrum we've got maxwell lord's suicide squad there so it was fun seeing lobo get pissed off it's always fun seeing lobo it looks it looks better this time. But definitely worth a pick up as well. And this issue in this series is going to be very, very intriguing as to where they go with it. So it is DC Rover's first event. I will pick up next week's issue and review it with you here. So that's it for this video. Please drop a like. Please do subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.